Hello and welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. We are at the end of Dresden. I may have said that before. And we have a boss fight just through this door. But before we do it, we are going to buff up, we're going to level up, and we're just going to be all prepared, calm, go into the boss fight, clear it out easily. So, let's start with Regil. So, Reg. What are we going to take? He gets a new mythic ability at this one. So the one he already has is Thundering Blows, which is incredible for him. And as a point, because it's now another level up, that now means his Thundering Blows does even more damage. Fantastic. So what can we give him which is going to make him even better? What does he not need? He doesn't need this. He doesn't need that. Always a chance. Your attacks are less affected by luck. You don't automatically miss when you roll a 1 on an attack roll. Not a huge deal for him. Um, missing is actually even okay with Thundering Blows, so that's kind of fine. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Battle Meditation. As a standard uh, action, you enter a state of Battle Meditation. While you're in this, you lose your Dexterity bonus to AC and counts being staggered. All allies gain a morale bonus on attack and damage rolls and saving throws against fear effects equal to 1 plus 1 per 3 Mythic ranks. That sounds atrocious, um, especially for Reg. Doesn't have Hideous Laughter. Boundless healing. D doesn't have healing. Doesn't have natural attacks. Cleaving. Every time you deal critical damage with your ranged weapon. Doesn't have a ranged weapon. You, le you leave a, myst uh, a mystical link with enemy spellcasters that lets you um, mo instantly move to them. Every time you're targeted by an enemy spell, you gain the ability to teleport to the spellcaster as a move action for the next two rounds. Intriguing. That could be good. First one that's got a could be good there. That could give him a real purpose in our team. Although he's more good at killing the larger units right now because he gets so many attacks. Uh, ranged weapon. No. Um, extra domain. No. Or actually that's domain being swift action. Still no. Elemental barrage. Doesn't use elements. Just uses hit. Um, emergency help. We can teleport to companions in danger. No. Enduring spells, again, doesn't really have spells that matter. Enforced Vigor, every time you damage an ally, no. Ever ready, always un always ready to unleash some extra attacks. Whenever you gain an attack of opportunity, you gain a bonus to the attack and damage roll. Again, not really that useful for him. Your ranged weapon, nope. Your beacon of hope to your comrades. Your allies within 50 feet of you gain a bonus equal to half your mythic rank uh, plus one to their initiative, their saving throws against mind affecting uh, effects, and their concentration checks. Could be alright. Yeah. Last Stand. Now, Last Stand is really good. The ability to just not die for two rounds is incredible, especially given he's a huge damage dealer. So, potentially could be good there. Leading Strike. Every time you hit a target in melee combat, you leave a mark on it. Any ally attacking the marked target deal, um, deals additional divine damage equal to um, 1d6 per your mythic rank to the target consuming the mark. Okay. I mean, that, that that's fine. That's like 3d6 a turn, basically, in theory, if you hit. So, I mean, it's okay. Uh, it goes up each rank as well, so it could get very good. Uh, being able to nullify magic on you could be interesting. He doesn't really have any magic himself, but we do like having buffs, so that kind of takes away this one. Doesn't shapeshift. Charge. Um, your charge attacks deal additional divine damage equal to 1d6 per mythic rank. So that would be 3d6 right now. Again, not really that good. We might as well take leading strike. It's slightly better, I think, because it can activate more times in combat. We don't have shadow spells. Again, don't have a ranged weapon. We're able to remove um, any of these negative effects, like frightened, dazed, sick, and sta uh, shaken, staggered, nauseated, stunned, paralyzed, confused, when you're affected by any of those effects. That one could be pretty interesting. Yeah, I could see that one being useful. Um, the bigger they are, uh, you gain a bonus on your attack rolls with ranged weapon. Nope. Uh, long as long as you keep fighting, the power of your melee attacks keeps growing. Every turn, as long as you make at least one melee attack, you gain a stacking plus two bonus on damage rolls with melee attacks up to maximum plus ten that lasts until the end of combat. I mean, that, that's pretty nice. Your inner fortitude is so strong unless you overcome most debilitating conditions. At any time you would be paralyzed, you become staggered. If you become nauseated, you become sickened. If you, you're going to become shaken, you become frightened. Hmm. I kind of think, it's between, in my head, 
looking at all of these options, is definitely between Leading Strike and Last Stand. Leading Strike is nice just for some extra damage. Last Stand is really good because I don't want him to die and he's kind of a frontliner. You know what, I'm going to take Last Stand. In my head, I'm trying to think of the ideal situation for Last Stand, right? Well, I mean, we can do it with both. The ideal situation for Leading Strike. We hit the enemy, Nick, and then on the next turn, our ally hits the enemy. We do 3d6 damage, right? That's it. That, that, that's the full extent of that ability. Of Last Stand, what I'm imagining is some, we get put low, and we get two turns. Well, right now we're getting, what, four attacks a turn? So we get eight, attack, eight extra attacks on the enemy. Now, that could completely turn things. He can do, what, like 80 damage a turn or something right now? We, we Or 80 damage a hit, sorry, right now. So he could end up doing, like, 640 damage or something as, like, the best case scenario. That's so much better. The best case scenario for this one is 18 damage. Now, obviously, this one can activate every single turn, but actually not... Wait, yeah, it's 18 damage. So, like... Obviously, this can activate every single turn, but still, I quite like that. I, I think that having um, Last Stand is going to be very useful. Also, just having somebody, again, not being able to die, very good. Right. Sila. Sila, do you have anything that we haven't already looked at? No. Now, Thundering Blows could be useful for Sila. Same logic as we have right now for um, Reg. Um, she will probably miss quite a lot, so that's quite good. Uh, nothing else, I think, really works. Enduring spells? Does she have any spells that we're wanting to endure? No reason to pause. She doesn't really have buffs, so no. I mean, we could probably look in here in her spell book and be like, well, we could give her one of these buffs, the angelic uh, being ones, which would then be on permanently, which is interesting. But I'm not, or Arkhan's aura as well. I mean, that could be nice to have it on permanently. So there is some logic to um, going enduring spells on her. Right now it's not too useful, but it could be useful later. Anything else seem good? Uh, being able to remove some of these negative effects on us is quite nice. And it's automatically dispels, it says, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, I don't really see anything else between, apart from those. Abundant Smite is the only other one, but... We already have uh, five, and we don't tend to use them, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna take. Hmm, I was gonna say something, and I was like, I don't know, and I was like, well, I think we need to. I think we're gonna take enduring spells. I think it will be useful for her. She has a lot of personal buffs, and the personal buffs I think would be really nice to have be permanent. Right, Camellia. Now, Camellia, you're an interesting one. We have a lot of casting on you. Now, she also has buffs. If we have a look at Camellia, she also has some buffs which we could apply, although these are rounds per level buffs, which we could apply large person, and, uh, sorry, in large person and things like that, potentially. Actually, a lot of hers are, um, it's no, a lot of hers are actually round per level right now, the ones we have equipped, but we could, you know, buff a lot of her stuff and that could potentially be good. But what do we want her to do? We want her to be in melee and just kind of, I don't know. I See, I still don't really know what we want her to do. That, that's my problem with her. We give her a second spirit, which would give us a potential extra spell slot, I guess. Um, because we should be able to have two. Um, let me just check how it's um, phrased on her spell book. As this just says spirit magic slots, but we might get two, but I assume we're only going to get one. The reason why I was questioning it is because there's one of them. I can't remember who it was. Okay, it must have been a character we've taken off, but I thought one of them said something like, this is for this specific, um, like, one. And then if you took another, I would assume that it would then give you another slot underneath, but that does not appear to be the case. And, in fact, I might have made it up in my head. So, we'll ignore what I was saying there. Anyway. Um, so what I was thinking is, if we took another one, we might be able to get um, an extra spell per um, level, but that's okay. What else can we get here? What do these do? Let's give us a touch of the grave. As a standard action, we can make a melee touch attack infused with negative uh, energy. Okay. 
Flame, we get Touch of Flame. I think I can work out what that is. Ice Splinter, shoot Razor Sharp Icicles, uh, 1d6 points of piercing damage, um, plus one point for every two Shaman levels she has. Okay, I mean, that's fine. And she gets more spells later. And Cold Resistance. Um, actually, is that a spell or is that... Oh, that just looks like a thing she gets. Okay, never mind. So at level eight, she would get... Cold resistance, in addition, as a standard action, she can summon an icy blast in a 20-foot radius burst originating from a point she can see within 30 feet. It deals cold damage equal to 1d6 per shaman level she has each um, she has to each creature caught in the burst. Each target can attempt to reflex saving throw to half this damage. I mean, that's quite nice damage. What, that's 10d6? That's very nice. Uh, let me just have a look at some of the other ones. Fiery Soul, is that the same thing? That's a cone. And it's less useful, because it's less damage, I think. Yeah. Uh, bones? What's Shard Soul? DR3 against magic. This DR increases by 1 for every 4 shaman levels he possesses beyond 8th. So it's DR3 right now. In addition, as a standard action, she can cause jagged pieces of bone to explode from her body in a 10-foot radius. This deals 1d6 points of piercing damage. Um, okay. Does it only hit... I don't think this actually... Um, yeah, it, I think this would probably hit allies as well. Okay, so we might not want that one. What's Healer's Touch? She would also gain Channel at level 1, which is interesting. Um, plus 4 in all lore religion checks. As a standard action, we can heal all allies with negative HP in 30 feet radius for 1d6. Alright, sure. Um, at level 16, we can get an animal companion out of this one. Whenever the Shaman is reduced below 0 hit points, she automatically stabilizes and gains fast healing uh, 1 for 1d4 rounds. Okay. You get Storm Burst. Small uh, storm of swirling wind and rain to form around one creature within 30 feet. The storm causes the target to treat all foes as if they had concealment, suffering a 20% uh, mischance for, uh, for one round, plus one round for every four le uh, Shaman levels she possesses. So three rounds right now. Okay. I mean, that's nice. At 11th level, any weapon she wields is treated as a thundering weapon. So that's when it hits, it does sonic damage, I think. Hmm. Interesting. This one's actually alright. Well, so I'm just checking if I missed anything. So these are touches... Okay, no. Didn't miss anything on the earlier ones. Touch of acid. Um, We can do some acid damage. I assume it's the... Yeah, it's very similar to the other touch ones. Body of Earth. DR2 against Adamantine. Increases by plus one. In addition, she can explode. It's basically the same as the other one that exploded. Okay, cool. Wave strike. We perform a melee touch attack that drenches a creature and, and pushes it away. The opponent takes 1d6 points of damage plus one for every two shaman levels they possess. And the shaman initiates a bull rush maneuver against the target using her charisma modifier in the roll. Oh, so we can try and knock over a target with uh, this. Um, Interesting. So we push a target back, try and knock it over, with a charisma modifier thing on it. I mean, that's quite nice. Yeah, what's fluid mastery? You can unleash a torrent of ice and water from her hands. It's the cone 1d4. Okay, that's fine. And it bull rushes every enemy. Interesting. So what's the other cone? Just out of curiosity. That's just a cone. So I think waves actually sounds interesting. Uh, a prerequisite for beckoning chill. Are these um, extra hexes maybe at the bottom here? I don't know. Try to figure out. They could be. I, I'm not entirely sure what these ones at the bottom are. Is a hex. Yes, yeah, so these are extra hexes at the bottom. Uh, what did battle give us? It give us... Um, I mean, I need to go back into battle and double check what we're actually getting from that. Because I feel like I'm not using it properly. Because some of these seem really good. Um, that allows us to do lightning. I kind of think Wave sounds quite interesting. Uh, let's head back out, though. I want to see what her battle one does, because I feel like I'm misusing it. Uh, where is it? It will be under one of these. Battle. Well, that's Battle Master class. Whichever one of these is... We um, make extra attacks of opportunity each round. Um, stacks of ones given by the combat reflexes. One at 8th level, we gain weapon specialization feat and a weapon of our choice as a bonus feat. Okay, that's fine. Uh, still looking for the one that was actually like, you know, you've chosen the battle uh, one here. Or the battle spirit. Maybe it doesn't show up like that. Maybe it just shows you the consequences. It might just show you the consequences here. 
Uh, yeah. Can't. Well, I guess we've got Battle Spirit here, but I was looking for the one that showed you the full list. Uh, maybe, maybe we don't get anything like that once you already take it. Sure, whatever. Anyway, back to the uh, character. So I am interested in that wave one. Is there anything else that would be good for her? Um, I don't really think so. No. I'm going to try and take waves because I think it could lead to some interesting stuff. The standard action being able to push enemies back with a charisma modifier bull rush sounds very interesting. Um, being able to do the cone, which also does a charisma modifier bull rush, is also intriguing. Um, and it's a reflex saving throw on it. And then, yeah, we'll get elemental form later. As a standard action, we can assume the form of a huge water elemental as elemental body 4 with a duration of 1 hour per level. Oh, wow. So we could just permanently be walking around as a huge water elemental? That sounds intriguing. Yeah, sure. We may end up, like, respecking some of it, but, I mean, that sounds intriguing right now. Uh, where's her extra ability? So there it is. And there's the fluid mastery, which we can stick up there. Okay, she's running out of space here. We need to figure out some way to solve that, but that's fine. Right, Darren. Now, Darren has enduring spells, and that's currently what he's got. What else do we need to give him? Um, well, Ascendant Summoning. Um, so, creatures summoned by you gain a bonus to Strength, Dex, Con, Wisdom equal to half your Mythic rank plus one. Their attacks now um, ignore damage reduction. I mean, that sounds pretty nice. I mean, if we want to make him a summoner, we gotta, like, do something towards that. I think that probably fits quite well. I mean, let's at least commit to this summons idea. There we go. Ascendant Summons. And then Rue. Now, Rue has Cleaving Shot and Weapon Finesse Mythic. Now, we know we're going to respec her because this is uh, trash, as we have figured out, because the short bow is not a light weapon. Um, so, whatever we're taking really just has to be good enough to beat the next fight. Um, which is okay. Um, distracting Shots. Whenever you hit an enemy with a ranged weapon attack, they receive a penalty on AC against melee attacks equal to half your mythic rank uh, for one round. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. That, that could probably be what we need. Yeah, I don't think it's good. Like, necessarily, for like all situations. But for this next fight, that uh, sounds pretty nice. What are the other ones? Um, there were some other ranged ones, wasn't there? Spools of Vulnerability. Every third hit with a ranged weapon against the same enemy deals an additional 1d6 pl uh, per two mythic ranks. Divine damage. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for distracting shots. We'll take it for just now. I don't think it's terrible. I think that uh, we could probably have found a better option if we needed to. Right. I don't think we need to rest right now. Do you have your big summon available? You do have your big summon available. Nice. Uh, let's get some buffs on. Wait, do I already have Bless on? I do already have Bless on. Never mind. Hit you. Oh, also, quick save. Yep. Just um, because we've got a bunch of uh, things done now. You as well. We do also have negative levels. I'm not sure if we have any way of fixing those. So we might just have to live with that. But that's okay. Hit him. And then you. And then a horse. Horse. And then you. Although I think this is only going to be good against um, Minago. But that's okay. And then... Oh, you already have it on? Oh, must have a melee weapon equipped. Okay, go back to your melee weapon. There we go. I welcome your company. And another one of those. Right. Increased strength. Um, I like how he has a slightly different sounding voice for each of these spell casts. It's intriguing. I actually don't think I needed to apply it to her, but that's okay. Uh, anything else that we need to do? Uh, no. I think we're most... Oh, wait, no, we need to do these buffs as well. Okay. Back here. And then one here. And then one 
here. Along with the shield. And then you. And then shield. Right. So now we have a ton of extra um, armor going into this fight. Let's quick save. Let right. Us be off. Let us be off, as uh, she said. Let's run, sweetie. Right. So we did all of this before. Monago, my jail. We go through the bits at the bottom. Put yourself in my. Doesn't really matter what order we do them in. We said lawful. Not everyone here is fine. We talk about Nura and we attack. Right. Let's figure out how we're going to do this. So Staunton just walks at us. Ow. Ow. Just sit here. Um. Don't worry about Okay, Staunton just walks up and kills uh, Sila. Definitely not the ideal start, I would say. Um. Attack Monago. Okay. Lord Wisdom on everybody. We could keep going for Monago, I suppose. Oh, I didn't buff her either. Uh, okay, we'll do that if we fail. I know we're taking attacks of opportunity, but that's okay. Reg? You can do four attacks against Staunton. Definitely seems like the right thing to do. Are you chaotic or are you you're neutral evil? Okay. So, hit Monago with one of these, then hit Staunton. Not a lot of damage, but okay. Uh, now, we can't actually um, summon anything this turn because he needs a full round action. So I guess we'll do a heal. We should at least keep Sila up a little bit. And we might be able to get her back in a second. She just went invisible. Okay. Mm. We could do wave strike on this guy, I suppose. I, I need to do battle spirit. Mm. Let's do battle spirit. And then... Yeah, and then walk away, I think. That's okay. The Minde, let's go for an extra armor, healing, and then turn and attack this guy. Oh, also one of those. Uh, we could summon, I suppose. I want to kill this thing. We can. Didn't quite get it. We could stand up, but Staunton will hit us for an attack, so we don't want that to happen. Please dodge. Okay, so Reg is still up. Ru's being hit a little bit. Your job's to hit Monago. Okay, she so puts some people to sleep. This seems like a bad uh, turn. Alright, move around. There we go, that's the pixel. So now next turn we can hit Monago, but this turn we still want to hit Staunton. Uh, our strength this drop. Dropped, I think. Not that it matters, but um, that's annoying. Okay, Darren. We can do a big summon. Uh, let's go. I'm hoping that the large water elemental will be good. Okay. Um, I actually kind of feel like I want her to come back and stab this thing. Yeah, that at least frees up her back line. We then spread our judgment aura. So everyone's getting a little healing in here. And then maybe summon one of these. More summons. It also reveals Nura to us, which is nice. And then we can move. I don't really want to move near Staunton. That's the problem. I guess I could do this and attack Staunton. Or move close, I guess. Hits my Axamite. Oh, please don't use that. Oh, that's okay. I was worried it was going to hit, go through this line to try and hit as many as possible. Zila will still be hit, unfortunately, so she has to stay down. Used heal. Just crit, re crit reg. Literally doesn't matter. Okay, we did damage to uh, Monaco. She killed our horse. Um, reg? Well, this is your last turn. Attack. Okay. Heal. Um, that's all we can do. Water Elemental. Tried for a hit. Um, okay. Wave Strike. Didn't do anything to him. Okay, fair enough. 
Right. Um, or anything else we could cast here that might actually help us? Uh, no, not so much. <laughs> uh, now nah, we might need more buffs before we come in here. Okay. Sila could try and stand. I think she has to try and stand, even though she gets hit. I think she has to try so she can at least have a, tur a turn. Right. Heal. Uh, and then I think can take a potion as well. So let's do that on her turn. Oh, uh, wait, yeah. Potion up. That's fine. This'll leave a bruise. Nice miss. She's dead, dead. Well, Reg is still alive somehow. Uh, I love it. Rue's still asleep. Reg, attack. We got her! Wait, does that end the combat? Oh. It does. You stubborn ass! You wanna die for a heap of rocks? Go ahead. I'm not staying here. No, my dear. You are. You will either fight to the bitter end, or I'll break your delicate little neck myself with these very hands. <laughs> Are you threatening me, my mortal toy? Me? And with what? With the power I gave you? You ungrateful beast! Oh. She killed Staunton? No? Give me back what's mine. Take him, he's yours. And Dresden too. I don't care about this fortress. Or this half-wit. Oh, I grow so tired of you mortals. Your humdrum little passions. Your constant squabbling. Your incessant accusations and excuses. You treat each other like dirt. Push weaklings like these two into our arms. And then you have the audacity to accuse us. Come on, punish your traitors. Well, I think I'm tempted to go with the evil option here. Thank you for your help, but don't think this is you don't think this is gonna save you, do you? I will save myself. Take your filthy rag, take your befouled ruins. You can make soup out of this moron for all I care. I've had enough war. We Lily two were created for tenderness and love. Stay away from me with your swords and shields. Oh. So this is to be my fate. I've been betrayed by people and demons alike. Now my life really is worth nothing. But that doesn't mean you won't pay for it dearly. Come on, you scumbag. Kill me if you can. I don't care anymore. Hmm. Do we do we try and bring him back to the path of light? You know, you know what? I th I think we're we're full on you think I can't kill you? I suspect you can. I'll make you work for it. Let's get this over with. Two arms. Yeah! Oh. Moved everybody again. Uh, so... Staunton's still here. Zila did not get rest, as I kind of hoped that she might. Can we... Breath of Life... No, because our wisdom's too low, because we got a wisdom lord. Um, 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 um. You still got ghost weapon on? Or not ghost weapon, you know, whatever it's called. Spirit weapon enhancement, yeah. Let's go with Keen so we get a more higher chance of a crit, and let's go. I'll cut you wide open. Double miss. Nura reapplies buffs. Oh, Goodbye. Well, we're not dead. Darren, what is your chance of reaching Sela with the Breath of Life? You can use it. Well, I mean, that's a positive. Where's Sela? Sela's there. Let me just check. Could you use it on Sela? Yes. All right. 
Oh, it's, it counted as a new combat? You... <laughs> I'm so unhappy. Because he staggered again. Alright. You're within touch range. This thing refuses Target is not recently cooperate. dead because it counts as a new combat. Oh, okay. Um, heal. Water elemental. Doing nothing. This thing just completely soloing Nura at the back. All right, uh, shoot Nura. I will resist. Well, good job. Um, I guess continue to hit it. That didn't work. Hit it. Treat is not an option. Okay, Camellia, stab the him. Spirits demand your blood. What are you doing? Dominate person on red. All right. I think we're about to die. Um, heal. Okay. Water elemental. This failed. This is still killing Nura. <laughs> uh, shoot Staunton. He needs to die. Or don't. I suppose that's also an option. Um, well, hit him. Nope. Oh, Reg. I'm wounded. Well, that's us. Not quite. Okay, you stab him. Being slowed, and now we're dead. Nope, we're still alive. Won't give up. Okay. Step back. Heal. Okay. Water elemental. Failed to hit. It's actually getting uh, kind of silly right now. How many times the water elemental has failed to hit? Right, Desna, attack. Guide my hand. We are gonna die if we don't move right now. Mm. All right, move back slightly. And this only hits enemies, so hit them. Then overcome spell resistance. Wonderful. I'm wounded. We still got a hit there. Okay, Camellia. Stab him. Go for their okay, Nura's walking in. Overwhelming grief. We saved the will save on. Oh, it still went for us and killed us. Wonderful. Alright. So, what did we do wrong in that last fight? Um, we didn't get all of our buffs that we could have potentially got on on. And, um, yeah, we misplayed it slightly. But we do know that if we kill Monago first, she just pieces out, which is good to know. Right, it won't let me pause the game. The pause button doesn't work anymore. What? I've never had that. I'm going to reload the game. I was going to pause so that I could line up the uh, buffs without losing time on them. I suppose it doesn't matter because they're 24 hour buffs, but still. Um, not a great sign that the pause button didn't work. Right, now, now let's try it. I'm pressing spacebar. No pausing. Okay. Well, I better not never want to pause then. Let me just test something here. Just opening up Notepad. Spacebar does in fact work. Cool. So okay, so small bug. All right, let's buff up the horse. Uh, let's go for this onto yourself. How long does that last for? An hour per level. Okay, that's fine. That. That, and then bark skin on a. Well, on Sila. Followed by this on Reg. Right. Let's go in. That, that's my new plan. Everyone's buffed up slightly. Walk Let's right run, in. Sweetie. I don't... This... Managa. My jail... Of course, cool. Not Just go through these you ones. She... What else put yourself in? Right. Through here. Quiet. Okay. Years, I had a new idea as well. We can try and remove some of the Staunton's buffs, potentially. I think that could be an idea. Alright, our turn. First turn. Battle Spirit. Followed by moving over here. This seems fine. Rue. Rue, your first turn is either shooting Nura or Manago. I guess let's go for Manago. Because, um, if Monago dies first, she's just removed from combat. 
All right. Up here. Turn and attack. That's fine. Uh, Sila. Smite evil. On Monago. And let's just let's just focus. Yeah, let's just get get Monago. Nice damage. Okay. Our turn. Activate this so everybody gets the damage um stuff. Uh let's see what else we could do here. I think summon was actually a good one as well. Let's go for armor class. Followed by Hmm. Probably ability to hit. And one of those right at the back. Okay, that seems fine. Switch that on just so that I have it when I need it. Then take a step here. Right. Nice, so now it's gonna start lightning bolting Dura, which is fine. Reg. I kind of want you to be hit by Staunton first, if possible, because of your last stand. So, if I move you in here, then hit Monago. Uh, smite, then hit. Is not an That's good. Sila down in a single hit. The end. Not ideal, definitely. Right, Darren. Um, you cannot summon because you only get one turn right now. So let's do some heals, just to try and make it so that Sila doesn't auto die. Yeah, that's best you can really do. Camellia. This is kind of your level of enemy. No offense. Wide open. Right. Shoot, Monago. Prepare yourself. You only had to hit a 12. All right, never mind. Monago's dead. Okay. So before the first round of combat really hits, Monago dies. We then get this scene. No, my. Which is nice, although she did just put somebody to sleep, which I think is a little unfair given that we'd already had the combat, but... Give me back what... oh, I grow so Wait, in fact it's hitting us mortal. every turn. Your That's very annoying. Passions. Your con I will right, it. stick with the evil one. She then just jumps over here. So this is to be my fate. Let's, right. Let's, let's go. So inspire courage and haste. I hate haste uh, a lot. Did somebody fall asleep? No, it looks like Darren was, he did fall asleep in the cutscene, but it looks like he's fine now. Okay. Oh, and Sila stands up, which may or may not be good. Looks like uh, Darren goes first, so we might be okay with that. Kneel before. The Lord's strength doesn't matter too much for us. Um, horse attack. Attack Staunton. Desna, guide my hand. Okay, that's fine. Some good damage. Get a heal going here. Right, Sila. Um, definitely feeling like you're gonna need to. That's the wrong one. That's the uh, exact opposite of what I wanted to do. I think that's inflict wounds. Right, heal. Lay on hands. Uh, which unfortunately means we can't smite, but I think it was still... Well, I think we already smited him, didn't we? You are, Do you already have smite on you? Uh, let's have a look. No. Okay, so that is no longer on. I guess because the combat's new. The Inheritor, guide my blade. Oh wait, no, we did smite Monaco first. Hey, you're hitting the horse. Actually couldn't be better. Reg is alive. Just sneak attack my summon. I mean, I don't care. That's fine. Uh, we could try poisoning this guy next to us. Fortitude negates. He probably has a good fortitude save, I would imagine. Let's have a look. Uh, plus 20. Yeah, that'll probably do it. Um, got anything else that we could do right now apart from just stab him? I don't think so. So I think we might just stab him. Do we still have we still have spirit weapon on? Okay, attack. The spirits demand your blood. Little strength lowering, but that's fine. Hey, it's now just hitting Nura. Love it. Uh, we didn't spread this yet. So spread so we get an extra chance to hit. Um, could try Force Reality. Which would, in theory, dispel... 
illusion school things, if he has any illusion school things on him. Did we get another? I thought we got another one. Some One of these I thought was another one here. Uh, I don't think we did, though. No, I don't think we did get another one, unfortunately. I think this is our only one. Does he have anything that comes from the illusion school? That's the next question. Um, expand. Forwards. Are these illusion ones? I don't know. Is magical vestment illusion? Divine power is probably not illusion. Yeah, I don't think any of these are illusion, unfortunately. Uh, we could check magical vestment, actually, because we can go in here and go spell book. Uh... Because you have it available. Yeah. Transmutation. Yeah, I think they're all transmutation, unfortunately. Could attack. Could do another summon at the back. Potentially. Mm. Could try this one, Searing Light, which hits against touch. Wow. Okay, you're close enough to hit me. Um, was not aware of that fact. I'm now further away. Nero uses good hope, only hits the uh, Babao. Um, well, I think you're just going to have to hit him. Okay, horse is down. Staunton. Dead. I'm coming, Lady Death. Forgive me for being over 70 years late for our, uh, is that say for, uh, for our date. Okay, good last line. Heal. Okay. I think that's fine. Nura? We're coming for you next. Take you. Okay. All the way up here. You are today's sacrifice. And try just try and hit. Uh, she just save the will save on a uh, hold a um, monster. Okay. Let's see. One of these. Uh, actually. Move in, just to make sure a buff is, yeah, is applying to them correctly. Then hit. Concealment. You got Reg. Reg, however, cannot move, which I think is good. Horse could stand up. Alright. Get round here. Cool. Shoot. I will resist. It's only a four. <laughs> okay. Still failed. All right, move in and heal. Sila, attack. Into the fray. Uh. Again, another fail. All right, stab them. Go for their hearts. Nice, we hit <laughs> twice. A flaw in our tactics. <laughs> Didn't really expect Reg to just be um, straight up bolt uh, lightning out. bolted there, but hey, there you have it. I mean, it does keep him out of the fight. Shoot. Nura is also down. Wait, do we have something else to fight here? Oh, we have Reg! <laughs> oh, right, I forgot. No! You... I can't pause. Um, Breath of life on Reg. Breath of life. We brought him back. Okay. I forgot my pause button was broken. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'll just pause and get this done. Uh, she's still alive? Ouch. Why get into this fight? I knew I couldn't handle it. Oh. Oh, also, um, looting doesn't work. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to save and reload the game. Because looting also does not work. Uh, and that is very important. Well, didn't expect for that to happen, for us to be unable to loot. Hopefully that's not on the save file, because otherwise we have to redo the fight. But hey, that was a much better fight than last time. Even with our thing rad randomly killing, um, uh, ra ra randomly killing Reg. Yeah, much better. Although, it killing Reg did mean that Reg didn't try and kill us, and he might have succeeded. Although I suppose you don't get Crusader's Bane on every hit, which is probably better. Also, it's interesting that Nura's just like, nah, you know, I, I, I see your point about me uh, dying here, but 
Nah, I'm just not going to die. Which is good. Right. So. Back in here. Let's see whether I can pause. I can pause. Can I loot? I still cannot loot. There we go. Right. Grab all this. Pause just because I can. Because I'm showing off now. Newest to oldest. So, Cloak of Resistance 1. Not interested. Inspired Wisdom. Um, I mean, you kind of do need Wisdom for some of your stuff. Did I give you something that worked off your Charisma? I think I did. Probably not the smartest move I've ever done. Okay, there you go. Have more Wisdom. Belt of Physical Form for Dex uh, and Con. Um, Dex and Con probably seems like a you, a you kind of thing. Which probably means that the Dex needs to go onto the next person down the list. Which, um, I don't know. Probably going to be you for just now. Okay. What have we got here? Carapace. So, 11 armor class, max dexterity 3, mithril en enhancement plus 2. Whenever the enemy lands a hit on the wearer of this plus 2 mithril uh, full plate armor, the attacker has to pass a reflex saving throw or suffer 1d3 strength damage. If the attacker passes a saving throw, they suffer 1d3 piercing instead. That's incredible. Yeah. Um, so, do we want it on you or you, basically, is the question. Adamantine is pretty nice on this. Mm, this would give you plus one dex bonus as well. So I think it's probably for you right now. Yeah. But it could have been for either of them. And then two-handed glaive. Whenever the wielder of this plus two adamantine glaive kills a target with it, it summons a demon till the end of the fight. Ah, that's why they kept appearing. Only one demon can be summoned per fight. If the demon was already summoned, every subsequent kill heals for one... D8 plus 5 HP and gives a stacking plus 1 bonus on attack rolls. Depending on each, uh, on the hit dice of the killed enemy, the summoned demon could be a Babao, a Marilith, or a Balor. This weapon cannot be wielded by lawful good characters. I think it can still be wielded by uh, Soasil then? Because I think that he is neutral good. So that, that seems good there. Alright, and then we didn't pick up anything else. Alright. Get me what's in the chest. It was pretty much nothing. Okay, is that everything here? I believe that might be everything. Okay, we've been everywhere. That was everything. Quick save. Nura. Breathing heavily, Nura stands up and wipes her bloody hands on her clothes. Well, what are you waiting for, you scum? Come on, finish me off. Kill me like you killed Staunton, and be glad that you've defeated the villains. Just make sure you don't wonder whose fault it is when he and I were on the demon that he Just make sure you don't wonder whose fault it was that he and I were on the demon's side. Thoughts like that could make you lose your appetite. Another tearful performance. Everyone is guilty but me. I've lost count of how many of you innocents I've sent to the chopping block. They should have been executed just for denying their responsibility. Never mind all their other crimes. I understand your pain, hatred and anger. I stoked those feelings in the mortals. I convinced them that the whole world was to blame for their troubles. That only the demons could help them get revenge. It was a lie. Whatever your demon seducers told you, it was a lie. Your real friends are your fellow mortals. Who is this? A succubus. You let her into your party. Ha! Huh. Well then, I can die a peaceful death. You won't last long. Um. What will you do if I let you go? I'm not going to, but sure. Let me go. Why would you? No, you mean seriously? Ha! Ha 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 You think I'll thank you for your generosity and devote the rest of my days to taking care of homeless puppies? I'll continue exacting my vengeance. That's what I'll do. On others, if not on you. I will feed as many crusaders as I can to the demons before I face the sword of someone less forgiving than you. Um. Well. I will not kill you here. You'll be locked up and I'll think about what I'll do with you. Do whatever you want. You can't escape the demons. Your head will be on Baphomet's altar. Today. if uh, Tomorrow, if not today. Oh, right. I guess Nura might not have been here at this point. Maybe you can attack her before now or something? Hmm. 
Well, okay. Almost missed loot. Now we walk out to the front, I guess. No? Wait. Was this optional? Where do we go? Do we leave the room and then it teleports us somewhere? No. Wait. Well, I guess I need to fix Reg then. Alright, guys. Let's go fix Reg. Um, who wants to go first? How about you? And... Right, now you can move. That's all we needed. Right, so now everybody can at least leave. So I'm guessing that we go back downstairs? Maybe? Oh, there we go. The commander of the crusade has managed to overthrow 70 years of demonic rule in Dresden and restored the Sword of Valor to its rightful place. Will the commander be able to defend the banner she has won with such a valiant effort? Oh. And that's it. Banner over the citadel. And I believe we might now be in Act 3? Maybe? Possibly? And... We're there! Urgent matters of state are awaiting my attention. My convoy will be departing for the capital within the hour. I'm afraid this is all the time I can spare you. So do please forgive me for skipping the lengthy and well-deserved congratulations. Something has subtly changed in the way the Queen of Mandev looks at you. Respect shines in her eyes, but her slightly furrowed brow indicates a hint of unease. Dresden was taken quickly, even more quickly than I'd anticipated. Morale is high among the Crusade forces that were entrusted to you. Hmm, interesting. Now, looking at this, it looks like these are um, lines given to, like, you know, based upon triggers. So it's like, Dresden was taken quickly. If you had taken a long time taking Dresden, then she might have said something different. Or, like, if you'd spent a lot of time on the overworld, maybe? I don't know, maybe that one's always said. But then this one, morale is high. I'm assuming she only says if the morale value ends up being high at the end. You handled the command superbly. I never doubted your personal ability to deal with the demons. I knew that you could become a living symbol for people to follow. That you have now displayed a decent head for tactics is a pleasant surprise. I believed in your success and prepared for this outcome after a fashion. I brought a reward to personally bestow upon my Knight Commander. But now, I think this reward is insufficient. So please, accept one more gift from me personally. Ooh, okay. So we got the Queen's Gratitude um, like achievement there. So I assume that means that we hit the triggers to make the Queen like us. Because um, I believe that one of the things that you can do to make the Queen like you is you can give her the Covenant that we've kept to ourselves. Um, but it's interesting that I believe that we got it without that. Maybe there's like a next level up from this, but that's still pretty good. Ooh, so what are we going to say? A ring? What, are we betrothed now? By no means. I merely thought a cloak would be a meager reward, but I did not have time to arrange for another gift. Now on to the main matter. The Sword of Valor has been returned to us. Touching it has awoken your power and changed the Great Relic beyond recognition. Many clerics are at a loss to interpret this unexpected turn. Is it an omen? Happenstance? A warning? Only one thing can be said for certain. Your power is astonishing and unlike anything ever seen before. Your power bears little resemblance to other manifestations of the Inheritor's will that I have been fortunate enough to witness. But who can fathom the god's designs? And Iomade has many heavenly allies, and they helped us on several occasions throughout the Crusades. There. I have said all I wish to. Is there anything you wish to discuss with me before I depart? Hmm. Well, let's tell her about Arilu Vorlesh. There's something you should know. Arilu Vorlesh appeared to, uh, before me in Dresden. She did not explain why she had come. The architect of the world wound? Here? And she allowed you to simply dispose of Stanch and Vane and claim the Sword of Valor? 
This is a very worrying development. Aurelia was more dangerous than a dozen ballas, and more cunning and deceitful than a score of succubi. In the hundred years of the Crusades, our forces have very rarely encountered her, but when we did, it always led to something terrifying. I think... I think she has taken an interest in you and your power. It was to be expected, of course, and it worries me more than anything else. Sooner or later, we shall have to take a stand against Arilu and deal with her once and for all. But I thought we would have time to prepare. Be careful. And if the Architect reappears, treat her as you would a Demon Lord. Okay. Do you know anything about the huge demon that we met at the gates? It was much stronger than the rest. The Baylor Dorazand, one of Daskari's generals. He, Hep Zamira, and the Echo of Daskari are some of the most notable demons in the Abyssal Forces. You will soon learn these names. Dorazand has not been sighted by our scouts for a long time, and his appearance at Dresden was an unexpected development. But we must grow accustomed to surprises such as this. The ability to move at will through space is one of the demon's most unpleasant hallmarks. Fortunately, the Sword of Valor takes care of that problem for the areas around Dresden. I have heard everything I need. Very well. Then I shall take my leave. Erebeth will bring you up to speed on the situation in the city and surrounds. And together, you can decide on what next steps to take. Good luck, Commander. Remember, this is but the first step. The road ahead will be long and difficult. With a nod of farewell, the Queen strides off with precise military bearing. Allow me also to congratulate you on your victory, Commander. We won the battle for Dresden, but this war is far from over. The demons know our true strength, so we must brace ourselves for a merciless counterattack. They will do everything they can to gain control of the city and destroy you personally and all of us along with you. The only good news is that cultists make up more than half of their forces, so they will have to march the same roads as our fighters. If they were all demons, they could appear here instantaneously and lay siege to the city. Praise Iomade for small mercies. The main demon forces are moving out from the City of Eyes and the Threshold Fortress. Scouts are reporting that for now we don't stand a chance of tearing through the defense and launching a counterattack. We can only gather our forces, rebuff their attacks, and wait for the right moment. Unfortunately, other hostile groups keep appearing out of nowhere. And on top of all that, Monago is still prowling around somewhere out there. Anevia is trying to find out where that abyss scum has run off to. Maybe she's already got some leads. Luckily, we are not alone. Mendev is with us. Queen Galfrey has sent us the first reinforcements. They've just entered the city. Besides, news of your victory is spreading through Avistan. I'm sure that crowds of new volunteers will soon be pouring into Dresden, inspired by your feet. And that's very good news. Because we're going to need troops. Here is a brief report about the main problems we're currently facing. Erbeth shows you a sheet of paper with a list of four items. Demons with special powers, secret path, missing patrol, and dragon! Um, there's a dragon? What dragon? As if we didn't have enough problems with demons already. Now there's a wild dragon in the vicinity. Luckily, it's not part of the demon army. If the demons had a dragon on their side, it could pose a serious threat. Yeah, but imagine what we could do if we had a dragon on our side. Oh. But there's very little food in the world wound, and the dragon doesn't seem to have a taste for demons and cultists. She keeps attacking small squads of crusaders, picking off those who fall behind, ravaging supply trains. The dragon's been sighted frequently in the sky, but we don't know exactly where her lair is. We have someone to help with this, though. Do you remember the dwarf who bravely attacked the Baylor in front of the Citadel during the siege? He is back in the city, and he doesn't mind hunting this dragon, apparently. Go talk to him in the tavern. We might be able to help each other. Hey, a new companion, potentially. There's a patrol missing? Yes, it disappeared without a trace during a mission. We didn't even find any bodies. Maybe someone abducted them, or there's some natural threat in the area. 
We can't rule out the possibility of desertion, either. The troop was patrolling the southern road out of the city. The last surviving settlements of Sikoris lie in that direction. But after the siege of Dresden, contact with them was lost. Hardly any of the inhabitants survived once the demons invaded the area. That's where I started the search. A secret path? What are you talking about? We can usually spot armies of demons in advance, as their hordes march along the Grey Road from eyes or threshold. But sometimes, packs of them appear out of nowhere. They're managing to avoid our scouts somehow and sneaking into our territory. If we don't solve this problem, we cannot attack. The demons will just appear at our backs, block off the gorges and cut us off from Dresden. Anevia is trying to find out how the demons are getting into our territory, but she hasn't succeeded yet. Talk to her. She will tell you more about what she's doing. What can you tell me about the demons with special powers? Remember that Nabasu that attacked our camp? He had powers that no ordinary demon should have. It is not the only demon of its kind. We keep receiving reports about similar monsters. All isolated cases for now. But it's possible that in the future, we will see entire squads, if not armies of them. We must find out where they're coming from. Find the source of their power and destroy it. If we don't, they will crush us before long. Even you can't defeat an entire army of such monsters. Is that all for now? There are a few pleasant matters. Oh, good. At the Queen's command, the Crusaders who took part in the attack have had their pay doubled and medals will be awarded to those who were particularly outstanding in battle. You know one of them. The Knight Elan from the Hound Hearts. He led a troop of Neurosian recruits and brought them to the main forces, and later drew the demon's attention in the battle with the Baylor, allowing the wounded to be rescued. See, I don't know whether this would have happened if Elan had died, or whether it would have happened anyway. Like, whether it just ignored the fact that he died. But I'm still happy that we redid it, so that... If it was locked off, we would, you know, I'm happy that we redid it so it, so the potential of it being locked off um, wasn't there. So, yeah, cool. There is one more thing. As you know, there is a vast dungeon under Dresden. Oh, really? It's almost empty now. The only prisoner is Nora Dendawar, the traitor you caught. Oh, I thought you, <laughs> when she said a vast dungeon, I was like, oh, really? There's like, you know, there's a... Like, dungeon thing where you can go down. I was thinking Pillars of Eternity like. There's like a dungeon where you can explore all the way down and there's layers and layers and layers of fighting. No, she literally meant there's a dun there's like a set of dungeons, you know, with, with like, you know, jail bars and things. We've temporarily placed the body of Staunton Vane in the dungeon. You slew him. What are your orders regarding his body? Anevia thinks we should burn it quietly and forget about it. Some want to see his corpse displayed in the square, but I don't think we should behave like demons and barbarians. He may have been our enemy, but he deserved to be buried as a knight. However, the decision is yours, of course. I love this as, a, as just as a thing that's popped up. That implies you could just bring him back under your control. Ho ho ho. Uh, yeah, that, that that sounds good. I definitely want to do a lich thing at some point and come back and just be like, well, I'm just going to keep killing my enemies because at some point I'm going to bring them back on my side. I think that could be fun. Um, okay, let's go through our options. I think four is right out there. One obviously we can't take. So this leaves us with burn the body quietly or bury him as a knight. I think we have to go quietly. I think if we were to bury him as a knight, it's just not going to... It's not going to end well. Like, yeah, maybe you could make an argument that it, it's kind of like the right, it could be a right thing to do. But at the same time, it's not good um, optics to have you um, burying a traitor who, like, one, caused this fort to fall in the first place. Two, then, you know, caused a bunch more problems in Canabras. Then came back to Dresden and started running it and torturing people and... Yeah, and then was also part of the attack, which led to a bunch of crusaders being flown off by gargoyles. I mean, it's really hard to, like, have a redemption arc here. Also caused his brother to die because his brother wouldn't leave him. I mean, yeah, it, I think quietly is the right option. Right you are, Commander. Commander. 
That day during the battle, I... No. My apologies. That is all, Commander. Thank you for your time. Giving a salute, Erebeth turns around and quickly leaves. And with that, ooh, new music. But also, this is our Dresden now. Oh my lord, the companions are spread out, aren't they? Also, I love that Bismuth, the um, the Triceratops, is down here as well, still around. Okay, so we got Horgus, we got a One-Eyed Devil, Blacksmith, Wilsur, Exotic Weapons Provider, Jewelry Trader, Arcane Weaver, Rue. Arsenal. I don't even know who that is. We got all sorts of things around. We got the Citadel itself. Cool. I'm just going to turn it around. Looks like I've done a little cleaning up here. But yeah, cool. Well, with that, we've entered Act 3. I believe you can see our quest list is starting to line up with all of these things that we were just told about. Um, we got some other ones that are going to end before th uh, this chapter as well. So, Wolgif's going to be resolved within this chapter. Middle game. Build the main stables in Dresden, form the staff council, order the crusades craftsmen to improve the relic. Okay, so there's some interesting stuff we can do as well. Um, Storyteller is still not around as far as we know, uh, so we probably want to look for him this act. Go to the heart of mystery, doesn't lock on this, um, on this act, which is interesting. Kalesa also does not lock on this act, although I assume that she'll be around. Okay, cool. Well... I think I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.